have been this excited about a package in a long time. I didn't even stop and take my coat off. Crunch bars, finally. <laughs> if you've been watching my videos for a while, then you know my obsession with these things. I have missed them so much. Probably the number one thing I miss about home is the access to these, so. <sighs> I'm so happy. <laughs> we need some alone time. One nap later. I'm currently sitting outside because I'm afraid to go back inside my room. Let's start at the beginning. So I was really tired after my classes and my meetings, so I decided to take a nap. I came down the stairs of my room and I thought I saw something scurry across my floor. I told myself, nah, you can't be saying what you think you're saying. I'm sure it was nothing, I'm sure it was nothing. The other day I was in the kitchen and one of my flatmates came in and said, did you see the message that I sent earlier in the group chat? And I'm like, no, you know, I don't, I'm not even in the group chat. And that was because I had just moved in a few weeks ago, so I've since been added, but he was like, yeah, I sent a message, you know, letting you guys know that I saw a mouse in the kitchen and you should just be careful with your food. So that immediately freaked me out just a little bit, but I'm like, okay, kitchen's down here. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. They reported that there was a mouse there. It was, it's gonna get taken care of. So I just shrugged it off and kept on going. About an hour later, I was in my bathroom and I just happened to look to the right and I saw Mickey Mouse. <laughs> he decided to pay me a visit. <laughs> you guys, I'm laughing, but like, it's like laughing to keep from crying because I really wanna cry right now. And you guys can say I'm being dramatic. It's just a mouse, but I'm sorry, it's not just a mouse to me because all I can imagine right now is me sleeping and waking up and there's a mouse right here on my chest, okay? That might take me out of here. I just, I can't handle it. I can't, I can't. So I'm frozen. I don't know what to do. He's looking at me. I'm looking at him. He looking at me, I'm looking at him. And I finally get up and he just bounces. I don't, I don't know where he is. I don't know if he's in my snacks. I don't know if he's under my shoes, if he's in my purses. Like, I don't know where he is. So, <sighs> My arm hurts, y'all, I gotta get, get a two second break. So I have this flatmate who's like really nice to me and he's always super helpful. So I'm like, I don't know if he's home, but I'm just gonna go knock on his door. So I force myself to leave the bathroom. I grab my house shoes and I run as fast as I can out of the room and I go and knock on his door and he just happened to answer. And I'm like, help me, <laughs> there's a mouse in my room. So he comes over to my room and we're like standing outside of my door, I'm like trying to hold it open and I'm like, I can't go in there. I don't know what to do. He's like, maybe if we could figure out where it is, we can get it out. And I'm just like, I don't know where it is. We like tried to kick stuff, move stuff and little dude is not coming out. He like immediately suggested I called an RA. So we go into the hallway to get the RA's number off the bulletin board. I call him, he is Mr. Nonchalant. He's like, oh really? I mean, you can try to uh, download the app and contact maintenance um, or you could like send an email to accommodations and they could probably help you but they don't really take these issues that seriously. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, cause people have mouses in their room all the time and they just, you know, tend to freak out about it. Um, so it's just like, you know, not a big deal to them. Right now, everyone's suggesting that I just go to the store and buy mouse traps, but I like still just don't even feel comfortable. I'm sorry guys if this is dramatic for you, but this is traumatic for me. So I guess I'm gonna go to the store and go buy mouse traps. I'm gonna buy like 20 of them because I just can't handle this. I might have to just sleep with some in the bed with me too. So I just got off the tube, about to go into Asta, AKA my second home. They're like 24 hours, so I might have to sleep in it tonight. Y'all keep asking me, where's the room tour page? When we gonna get this room tour you promised? Well, it's the mouse's room now. I have been evicted, so sorry guys. Sorry. I shouldn't even be going this way. I should be going the other way. I can't even, I can't even focus. I have work I'm supposed to be doing tonight. <laughs> I am not supposed to be at the store buying mouse traps. And at the same time, I'm starting to feel really conflicted because I don't even want to kill the mouse. But he can't stay with me. He's not paying rent, so. 
don't know. I don't even know what aisle they sell mouse traps in. I never get to purchase one in my life. While I'm here, I might as well buy some snacks. Excuse me. Excuse me. Would you be able to tell me what aisle the mouse traps are in? You don't need mouse traps. You don't have mouse traps? Oh, okay. It's convenient for one now. Okay. Do you know what stores might sell them? No? Okay. Thanks. You guys, I really thought I was playing it safe by going to Asda. I'm like, Asda is equivalent to Walmart. They have everything. I'm sure they're gonna have something to catch a mouse. No, they said they haven't sold mouse traps in years. So here I am. Um, luckily, I have a friend in my building, as you guys know, Coletta. Um, she says she's willing to walk around with me to different stores to see if we can find something because I just need something to put me at ease tonight, y'all. Either a mouse trap or I don't know, sleeping pill. I am so happy to have this girl because. <laughs> okay, store number one uh, cannot help us. So, off to store number two, guys. <laughs> trying to stay optimistic. You guys know me. I try to be the positive, calm person that I am 24 7, but sometimes I have my moments too. <laughs> we have been to four stores four stores by now and uh nobody sells mousetrap like you guys clearly have a mouse problem here in london but you don't sell mousetraps i don't get it i don't get it hi would you guys happen to sell mousetraps anything for a mouse to catch a mouse yeah <gasps> seriously <laughs> every story has a happy ending guys <laughs> She thinks this is a joke. You guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I think that might be my new favorite shop. They have made my night. They have made my whole life. I'm so excited right now. We can cross. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so I'm about to lay these babies out. I don't know if I'm more afraid of like seeing the mouse again or seeing a dead mouse <laughs> on one of these. I don't know. I think like in every major corner, they say you should not have things like blankets on the floor, but I'm so scared to lift that blanket up and he's chilling. They say he, they all like hide in soft things. I'm standing here. Oh, so you're leaving me down here? That's no fear. It's no day. No. Where did that little sucker go? Okay guys, so we have strategically put <laughs> four traps. The man at the store warned me to make sure I don't step on it because I will be stuck. Where do we put the last one? Okay. Oh, and the last one is back here. So, yeah. I don't really know if this is a resolution. I mean, this is gonna make me feel better for now, I guess. But if I see that mouse again, I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> But yeah, this is a very unexpected vlog. Never planned to have to do this one. But yeah, as always, hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> enjoyed my misery and my complaining in this vlog. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. You guys gotta hit the subscribe button just off of what I'm dealing with right now. Like if you pity me right now, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Thanks guys. See you in the next one. <laughs>